Hey guys, how's it going? Before we start, I just want to let you know that if you're still having trouble at the end of this video, we do offer one-on-one -on -one Skype tutoring, so reach out to me on Facebook or on Instagram to find out more information. The links are going to be in the description. Alright, let's get started. So today we're going to learn how to find the equation of a median from a vertex. And in this example, they're asking for the equation of a median from vertex A when we're given three points. So before I explain what a median is, uh, I want to draw these three points on our plane. So A, we have negative 3, 2. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. So that'll go there. We'll call that A. B is negative 5, negative 6. So 5, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, so I'll call this one B. C is 5, 0, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so right here. Let's see. So we can connect these dots together. A to B, B to C, and A to C. Okay, so now we have a triangle. So let's go back and look at the question. It said find the equation of the median from vertex A. So what that means is, starting at A, we have to find the equation of a straight line that goes from A to the midpoint of BC. So the midpoint of BC is probably somewhere here. So they want the equation of this line. So I drew it as a dotted line here. So we have to find the equation of that line, okay? So if they had asked us find the equation of the median from vertex B, then we would have gone from B to the midpoint of AC, okay? So they could have asked us that for any vertex, but they asked us for A. So the first thing we have to do is find this midpoint, okay? We already have one point on our line, that's A, but in order to find the slope, we need a second point. So that second point is the midpoint of BC. So we have to find the midpoint of BC, okay? So B and C, so what do we have? We have the average of x, right? So minus 5 plus 5 over 2. And we have minus 6 plus 0 over 2. Right? The average of the x is the average of the y's. So 5 minus 5, that's just 0. So the x value is 0. And then the y value is 6 over 2, so you get a negative 3. So our point is 0, negative 3. So our point is actually going to be right on the y-axis, okay? So we have point A, which is negative 3, 2, and we have this midpoint, which is 0, negative 3. Those are two points on this dotted line, okay? So we have two points. Let's find the slope. So the slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, right? That's your rise over run. So I'm going to say negative 3 minus 2, right? Negative 3 minus 2, and 0 minus negative 3. 0 minus negative 3, okay? And that's equal to negative 5 over positive 3. So that's our slope. So now we can say that the equation y is equal to negative 5 over 3x plus b. Okay, so what's b? How do we solve for b? Well, we plug in a point for x and y. I say we plug in this point that we found because it looks like it'll be easier to solve since one of the numbers is already 0. So if x is 0, we're just left with negative 3 is equal to, this will all become 0, equals b, right? So b is equal to negative 3. Instead of going through this calculation, you also could have realized that b represents our y-intercept and this point is on the y-axis. So our y-intercept is negative 3, right? So we could have just seen that and realized that right away. But regardless, we can now write our equation, y equals negative 5 over 3, x minus 3. So this is the equation of the median from vertex A to midpoint BC. This is midpoint BC. Okay guys, that's it for me today. Uh, if you're still having trouble with this material, uh, we do offer one-on-one -on -one Skype tutoring. So reach out to me either on Facebook or Instagram for more information. Links are in the description. Thanks guys, have a good day.